Uh, good morning. Welcome to 4x8 Paper Stuff. Uh, we are working on the prompt cauldron for today. <coughs> Try to tape these um, surfaces down. Okay, cauldron. I haven't started it in any of them. And I don't know how I'm going to work on today's. So that ought to be interesting. And at one time... I had a tiny bit of a piece of paper uh, set aside for cauldron. Um. So you see me searching and searching and searching through um, this box of scraps and I'm trying to find some colors that I like together and the black piece is a label from Martha Stewart like a jar label um, and I'm going to turn that into a cauldron but it does not work out right and I end up covering it all up here I'm trying to draw a cauldron um, uh, I, I've debated whether to leave all this in the video or take it out completely and re talk the end of it where I correct what I just did. I think I'm going to leave it in to see how I struggled with today's prompt cauldron. Uh, I, I completely struggled and I like the idea of having the black cauldron on there but I couldn't make my cauldron handle look right. I couldn't make some little feet look right. Um, the label has some seams in it where the sticky stuff comes off in different sections than what I wanted it to come off in. Uh, I have high powered cough medicine going on. I don't, the handle was going to be in like four pieces. All of it backfired hugely. Um, but this is the struggle I went through to try to get what I got and I still didn't like it. Um, sometimes you got to work through it and work through it and work through it. I don't teach in these videos. I just process because usually what I do is not right. Um, and somebody has already done it much better and much better explained than I could have and the whole shebang. So I never teach. Um, that picture is out of a magazine that is a gorgeous kitchen. So that's what I wanted my cauldron to be in was this gorgeous kitchen. Oh, it's so backfired. And by now my head is pounding. Um, we've had construction workers here all morning. Well, all day. They left about three, I think. Um, this is Friday, yesterday. And I'm just brain dead and muscle dead. And uh, again, I was going to take this whole part of the video out, edit this out. But I thought, no, I need to leave it in so that um, you can see. Sometimes you can push through the ugly and work through it and come up with something else. Um that paper there, that black is super sticky, so I wasn't going to try to pull it off and risk ripping the paper, so I just put another piece of paper over it. Um, so yes, work through the ugly. It works most of the time. Cauldron was looking grosser and grosser and worse and worse, so I covered it up. And now I'm going to cover up this side with more of this same paper, which is just water composition paper that I painted just to have on hand <clears throat> and uh, oopsie. this is my small pieces I got it condensed into one box that doesn't count for the large pieces and do I have six drawers of scrapbook paper which you saw in my video um, I tried to do a room tour, but my battery ran out, so I have part of a room tour of it so far, because it's not put together all the way yet, but, um, anyhow, so this, oh, my hair's falling out. So, I have the recipe going and I have the kitchen 
but I don't have a cauldron. cauldron. So I think I'm just going to put add to your cauldron. I don't have my little tiny trash can up here yet. I have grown to love that thing. It's just a little tiny, like a container that soup came in or something. And it just gets all the little snippets right, right away. Okay, so I'm going to uh, embellish on this. I'm just basically using a paper and layering them. I love this layered look. I don't know why. I just do. So now I need to finish my recipe. Warts of frogs, right legs of spiders, um, bat fingernails. mix in cauldron and bake at 350 degrees for 43 minutes. Okay, Curti. Why did I say 43? She's out of town. She always leaves me nice comments. She knows why I said 43 minutes. So I'm not actually putting the item from the prompt in my journal today. I'm just going to assume that you know I'm cooking all of this in a cauldron. How does that you say it? Oh, I may have spelt it wrong. Oh, crud. Well, this is the French culinary version of cauldron. And that's my story. And I'm sticking to it. In this beautiful kitchen. And call it done. washi tape in a drawer so that I can't open the drawer all the way. Halloween washi tape. Oh, let's use this one. We haven't used this one. It's multicolored. Purple ghosts, fall leaves, purple cat, a green ghost, bats, those aren't ball leaves, those are ghosts. Ghosts and cats and moons and bats. That sounds like a song. It actually kind of mimics the color of this paper a little bit. I'm 
because this washi tape is strong. So yes, the fires in Northern California, well, all of California are just awful. Um, my sister has, my sister is down in the Central Valley. Uh, she is semi-parallel with San Jose, but farther east. And the fires are, as the crow flies, 70 miles north of her northwest of her and she said that the, the breathing in their area is horrible. The air quality is awful even inside. She said people have awful headaches. I mean that's nothing compared to losing your house obviously but and they're still not even close to being contained. Okay. Now I do have Here I go again. I'm putting stuff away. Now I can't find anything. Those little credit cards that I use. Because this paper is going to bug me right here. It's too much white. Okay, that'll work. Okay. So really my cauldron turned into a kitchen. Halloween kitchen. And a recipe. Ooh, what's my recipe for? I don't know. But anyhow, I like that one. I like it. I like how it turned out. I'm going to try to get in closer. So there it is a little bit closer. That's better. Mm, not what I was going to do, but it'll work. So thanks for hanging out with me while I process my cauldron page and I'm going to leave you with a tiny bit of a room tour the way it is so far. Okay. When you walk in the room, the door's not put back on yet, but the windows are open again. All the Travernix guys are here still. This is my work surface every single day. Um, I sit right there. I film right there. Uh, I have two lights. My iPad usually goes kind of right there and I'm watching a movie or something. Um, all my ready handily supplies are all right in these little drawer units. And before they were on, some were sewing stuff, some were art supplies, some were sewing stuff, some were art supplies, and they were in all different kinds of places. Eventually, I kind of moved these three right behind me before we did all this work. And then, um, little by little, I've been emptying out all these other ones, especially, I think that was all sewing supply stuff in those drawers, and arranging, so all the little tiny bits, pens, washi, um, paint, pieces of paper, stickers, whatever. It's all theoretically in all of these things. There's the rice bag that holds my camera on. And, then I have a little rolling cart right there. And that's all that's completely sort of organized now. Um, I have a window behind me a little bit. Then, all right, <clears throat> behind me at this desk. Now my desk used to be right under here. We closed off that whole window and uh, it used to be right here. These are the six shelves. They are not organized. They're sort of things put, put where they're supposed to be. And a bookcase and the other three cabinets that were in here. Now, there were two more cabinets that are now in the closet that aren't completely organized yet. But that's okay. We're getting there. And theoretically, um, it's still a gigantic mess. But the end of these two have more drawer units that, I, that face out into this workspace. Now, this is all stuff that has to be put away. All right here. Um, and then I can get to these. Uh, and use them for extra pens or whatever. I mean, it all is right there. And then these shelves are lined with fabric um, and projects and fabric and projects and fabric. 
and then I have at this last one right before you get to the white cabinets is extra holiday stuff there's Halloween which is readily available because I need to be able to get to it um, next week and decorate so this is a lot of Halloween and some Christmas some Easter but mostly Halloween and and then in here are other holidays including Halloween I mean it's just a mishmash of stuff there's Thanksgiving pilgrims I have a lot of like cake plates and domes that I like to use in decorating uh, there's just a lot of things in there so um, that has to be organized a little bit better but right now it is these six drawers are filled with scrapbook paper still and this is the, they reach the top of my thigh so they're about two feet tall I guess we elevated this bookcase above these drawers and all of my books theoretically are all right here that's not true my sewing books are not there a lot of this is the used books that I cut apart on these bottom two shelves um, this top shelf is all my favorite fabric designer K facet and his books uh, that right there is coloring books which there's tons more and these are my working books that I use all the time now those are just for the love of them and there's my sign that says please don't clean up my mess you'll confuse me and screw up my world absolutely true now all my travel books and um, Bible study books and things like that are all in here theoretically there's wrapping paper in here travel books there's lots more room I can use in here I just haven't gotten it all organized my camera equipment and my Apple shrine are in and my phone cut off so you'll get to see the rest tomorrow